Did you know that there are four different types of bulletproof glass for security glazing? Well, today, Wade from US Bulletproofing and I are gonna test them side by side with some awesome slow-mo footage so that you can see the difference. We got a sample here. We're gonna be shooting this today. This is the first one. Uh, what am I looking at? What is this? Yeah, absolutely. This is a level five all glass window sample that we'll be testing today. Okay, and you say all glass? Yes. What does that mean? Like what's the makeup here? Is it so just glass? So essentially it is multiple layers of glass and laminates interla with inner layers and they're laminated together to create the overall thickness of the glass to be able to, to absorb the energy from the actual projectile. Perfect, and what are we using? What are we shooting this with? We're gonna be testing this with a 7.62 round from shot from a rifle from 15 feet away per UL 752 standards. Wow, and that's the result here, so it's gonna capture that, it's gonna stop that round. Yes, absolutely, we'll stop that round. That sounds awesome. Can't wait to do it, let's go shoot it. Okay, wait, this is uh, another sample. Uh, obviously, this is a little different. This is, uh, can you just tell me about it? Absolutely, again, so we're also looking at a level three polycarbonate solution here that we're gonna be testing as well. But polycarbonate, so this is not glass? Correct. Uh, so what does that mean? Essentially, this is a makeup of different layers of acrylic and polycarbonate combined together, laminated together to do the same thing what your glass samples would be doing as well to absorb the energy impact from that projectile. So, so why not just use glass? What's the difference? Well, essentially polycarbonate are typically designated for interior applications, gives okay. again a cleaner look, visible appeal to it as well, uh, again, but we typically see those mostly utilized on interior applications. Okay, and uh, what are we shooting this with? We're gonna be testing this particular one with a 44 Magnum with three shots from 15 feet away. And we're expecting to see what? A lot of the, again, same impact as well. Either bullets will be absorbed into the actual polycarbonate or they'll bounce off and ricochet. And, and now this one has three layers instead of the one layer that we talked about previously. So uh, in terms of anything on the back end, do we expect anything? No, essentially there should not be any spall that should be coming off the back end of these onto the interior of the building. That sounds cool. All right, can't wait to shoot it. Let's go over there. Another sample here, uh, this one is different. What, what am I looking at here? This particular sample, we are looking at a level one acrylic sample that we're gonna be testing as well. Also level one, so this is the different. What's the makeup here? So the makeup is essentially, this is a full monolithic polycast sheet of acrylic. No makeup, no inner layers of any sort, just one just single paint. solid piece. Okay, uh, what are we shooting with this? We're gonna be shooting this with a nine millimeter three times. 
Okay, and what should we expect out of that? Essentially, same thing. You'll see a lot of the projectiles bounce off or get absorbed into the actual acrylic. So being that, it, that it's mono, uh, is there gonna be any issue on the back of this one or no? There potentially could be. There's always a risk for spall, but not on this particular sample, no. Perfect, let's go shoot it. Absolutely. Okay, so we have uh, the first three samples that we shot that we talked about earlier, but I have so four samples on the table here. So can you kind of run me through these? I sure can. So essentially there are different types of security glazing out there. The first one all the way over here on the far right is an acrylic type makeup, yeah. all right? The second that you're looking at right here is a polycarbonate. Then you have all glass solutions, and then you have what we've shot consistently as well, some of the GCP or the glass clad polycarbonates. Yep. So I, I'm seeing completely different patterns and results and everything in here. Uh, it, it's actually really crazy. Were they all shot with the same thing? No, they weren't. They were all shot different based off what they're able to protect against. So okay. your level one acrylic over here stopped a nine millimeter three times. Your level three polycarbonate stopped a 44 Magnum from three shot with three shots. Your level five is again a one shot from a 762, and then your level three glass clad polycarbonate, just 44 Magnum calibers as well. So essentially different types of security glazing, different types of security protocol as well for making sure they have the protection. Yeah, what I'm seeing is also just like a visual impact too. Like they look way different. Obviously the materials are changing everything. We go we go from glass to uh, acrylic, right? Certainly. So, and and it's, it's just the amount of damage per se that you're seeing on them is completely different but it doesn't mean that this is better than that because you were talking about how acrylic is only good indoors and so on earlier so um how does one choose well essentially it's what you're trying to protect against in what areas of the building so a lot of your clients may ask you what level do you recommend well essentially it depends on what the threat actually is or it could be the area of the building because there's a reason we utilize glass on exterior windows versus acrylic products and that's due to just again the resiliency of environmental protection so i know i know glass obviously i'm, I'm in the glass world and i understand glass i'm seeing a more damaged piece but it doesn't mean that it performed less than one of these correct that's really interesting. Well, hey, thanks for all your help today. That's been really cool. Absolutely. So let's just get through the rest of them.